Question number 7 says that a cylindrical bucket which is 32 cm high and with radius of base 18 cm is filled with sand. This bucket is emptied on the ground and a conical heap of sand is formed. If the height of the conical heap is 24 cm, we have to find the radius and the slant height of the heap. So let's visualize this question. Here we have a bucket which has got a radius R1 equals 18 centimeters and a height H1 which equals 32 centimeters. The volume that this bucket had was transferred onto the ground and that sand formed a conical heap which has got a height H2 to be equal to 24 centimeters but we do not know its radius let's say R2 and its sand height and that is what we have to find. Now the catch here in the question is that whatever be the volume of sand that got transferred into the cone will be equal. So we can here say that the volume of the cylinder which is the bucket will be equal to the volume of the heap which is in the shape of a cone. So let's substitute the formulas in here in the given expression. So we will get the volume of the cylindrical bucket as pi r1 square times h1 and that equals the volume of the conical heap which will be 1 by 3 pi times r2 square h2. Pi pi gets cancelled from both the sides. r1 square is nothing but 18 times 18 and h1 is 32. That equals 1 by 3 times r2 square times h2 which is 24. So on rearranging we get it as r2 square equals 18 times 18 times 32 times 3 and this whole is divided by 24. So 3 eights are 24 and 8 fours are 32. So now we get the radius which is r2 of the conical heap to be equal to 36 centimeters. Now that we have found out the radius of the conical heap, we can actually find the slant height of it also because the formula to find the slant height L of a cone equals root over R square plus H square. So in here it can be R2 square and H2 square because R2 represents the radius of the conical heap and H2 represents the height of the conical heap. So L now will be equal to under root 36 square plus 24 square. So we can take 12 square common from it. So 12 square taken common, we are left with 3 square plus 2 squared inside. So we get it as L to be equal to 12 times under root 13 centimeters as the slant height of the conical heap. And this is how we get the radius and the slant height of the conical heap which was formed by transferring the sand from the cylindrical bucket onto the ground. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.